Welcome back to the channel guys. My name's Anthony. Thank you for tuning into the driver mod. This is the next S650 mod video. We've got two modifications we're going over with you today. We just got back from Mustang week and while we were up there, we met up with the UPR team and we decided to use the Roush S650 as the baseline to create and help design their UPR catch can system for the S650s with the Roush Supercharger. So this car is gonna be the template and we were able to get that done last night with the help of Fast Performance. Now here is their catch can setup. The lines are nice, high quality braided, like really high quality stuff, high quality materials used for the catch can. They unscrew from the bottom to be able to empty them and service them. The fittings are high quality. They mount in a nice way that's kind of out of the way of everything. And if you did have a strut tower brace, you know, they'd be out of the way from that. But here's the passenger side. Mounts onto the, there's a stud right there on the, um, like the battery wall, firewall, whatever you want to call it. And then there we go, right into the side of the supercharger. So again, we use this car to get measurements, cut and fit everything. So now they're going to start offering this setup if you have the Roush installed on your S650. Now that second modification is from a brand that we've been working with for a long time. We've had their products on the channel before and that's Solar Performance. We have their throttle controller installed in the S650. Go check out that video. We've also got their ported throttle body on the GT350. A lot of the GT350 guys, they really love that thing. It's a no tune required modification and we got a video out there where we showed you it actually picked up some 60 to 130 time. So super high quality stuff. And again, no tune required, which is always nice. And especially with the S650s being untunable, those ported throttle bodies are gonna come in handy. So here they are right here. We've got it midway through the install. That's what it looks like. This is their billet 90 millimeter ported throttle body setup. And as you can see, compared to the 87 millimeter of the stock setup, definitely a significantly larger bore for the air to flow through. So we're gonna get these up on the car. Um, we've been working with them over a couple months to get these mocked up and fitted. Um, because of how close the throttle bodies sit, we had to come up with some ways to mount them so that they would not interfere with each other. But now with the Roush, they're a little bit farther separated apart. But these will work for both the non-boosted and the naturally aspirated throttle body setups. So as you can see there, we've already got one installed in the car. Now we're gonna just throw the other one on. Now when you are naturally aspirated and you have the stock intake, you know, you do have to keep the uh, throttle body inversion going on with the Roush they actually flip the stock throttle body so that they're both seated like this with the motor off to the uh, the passenger side of the car. But when it's, but when you've got the stock intake manifold, they invert the, the one on this side because the motor would hit the throttle body housing on the other side. And as you can see right there, even with the bigger throttle body housing and motor, we're still able to keep the throttle bodies oriented in a symmetrical manner. So we're gonna go ahead and get that mounted up. All right, we got the throttle bodies mounted on the car. Um, being this is the test set, we're gonna be sending these back to Solar Performance to show them the revisions we made to them in order to allow them to fit. Because, so naturally aspirated, they would work. You would keep this one mounted like this, and then you would leave this one inverted on the naturally aspirated um, intake manifold. But on the Roush, the, the throttle bodies sit farther forward, which does give them more space here so that you can, you can sit them like this. We did have to machine some of the metal away to get clearance to allow them both to properly sit. Because if you try to invert this one, the motor is now sitting on top and it actually hits the hood. So you have to mount the throttle bodies on the Roush like this. Naturally aspirated, you have to mount them um, in the inverted method because there's not enough space here to put the motor between the throttle body. So Roush, it's gonna look like this, symmetrical. Stock intake manifold. The driver's side one is gonna be inverted and that'll give you all the room and clearance you need. Now let's get the intakes back on and fire it up. Intakes are on, clamps, hoses, everything connected. Let's go fire it up. All right, here we go. Started right up, no check engine light. So the first set that they sent me um, electronically, they hadn't got the, uh, the position sensor quite right. So it threw some fault codes. So we had to send those back and here's the new set. Now it's on the car. 
and the cherry on top, it works with the Roush. So whether you're naturally aspirated or you've got the Roush supercharger, the, uh, the solar performance ported throttle bodies will work for you. So now that we've got the throttle bodies installed in the car, you have to do kind of like a relearn with the car. And in order to do that, all you're gonna do is you're gonna start and idle the car for three minutes. And you're gonna do that twice. So we're gonna go ahead and start it. And we're gonna let it idle for three minutes. After the three minutes is over, we're gonna shut the car off. And then we're gonna restart it again, let it idle for three minutes. And while we're waiting here for the three minutes, we'll go over the next step of the uh, kind of relearn. This is gonna be done over multiple days and multiple drive cycles. Uh, but what they want you to do is accelerate, you know, drive the vehicle normally, don't go wide open throttle, just drive the vehicle normally, lightly accelerate. And they want you to get up to like 45, 50 miles an hour, and then you're just gonna let off the throttle and let the vehicle decelerate and, you know, engine brake throttle, you know, coast on its own. Um, you know, when, when you're able to do that, obviously you don't wanna to go to like an open highway and, you know, with a bunch of traffic and do this, but find some, find some roads where you can get up to 45, 50 miles an hour and let off the accelerator and coast, you know, if not to a stop, you know, a very slow speed and, and do that, you know, five to 10 times in a single drive cycle. And over the next five or so drive cycles, the relearn process will have occurred and then you'll be good to drive the car as you normally would. So we're gonna complete a couple of those drive cycles now. We're not gonna include that in the video because that would be a lengthy and boring part of this, but just make sure you do that relearn process just to make sure that you get everything reacclimated to the added airflow. Because now we, we just significantly increase the amount of airflow that this car is gonna be able to intake. All right, we're just gonna let this warm up and then we'll go take it for a little test drive. But yeah, guys, installing the throttle bodies, super easy. Remove your intakes, remove your throttle bodies, install the new ones, reverse the process, super easy. If you need a step-by-step -step video, I'll definitely make that. We'll be getting you some performance data down the road as well, so stay tuned for that. But if you want a set of solar performance ported throttle bodies for your S650, use promo code TDM350 and you'll get 10% off your ported throttle bodies from solar performance. They look incredible. And you got this nice touch to letting you know what's under the hood right here. Solar, 90 millimeter, ported throttle bodies. Stay tuned for the performance videos, guys.